Okay. I did the jump thing. <laughs> Sorry if this is a little slow for you guys. Like this is how this these game these games go. So like if I apologize if it's a little bit slow, but all of these story games are like really interesting how they go. And I don't know how different these get. This is really cool though. Where it's just some like park. Where is this? Is this by the lighthouse? This kind of looks like it's by the lighthouse. Northwest Valor, Dwight Mueller, designer. I'm really digging the music in this game, to be honest, like it's been the music is really good. Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. This is the lighthouse. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one. I like games. Deal with it. This is when I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Ah. Uh... Games acting lying. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. That you have to pay money for. Let's fire it up. Oh, she's got the money. That's fine. If she wants to front the money, then I'll I'll play. <laughs> Chloe's like, what? What? That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Nope. I got money. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Are we going to hack this machine? Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to. Wait, hold on a second. Somebody texted me. Mikey. Sorry about Drew. Oh, that's his, his brother. Huh. Get it working for her. Neat. Let's investigate this one. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Okay. But we don't have the tool for that, so I'm not even going to try and pry that open. Let's look around. Eat that. Oh, she just carries a marker on her and just graffiti stuff. I wonder if this is the equivalent of taking pictures is doing the graffiti. I probably should have done that in the other one then. Huh. Last time I didn't graffiti something because I was like, don't want to do that. Yeah, these are the equipments. These are the achievements. Well, I know that now we should have done that. So there's got to be something that I can use to pry this open. Obviously, this bench isn't going to do diddly there. Squirrels. Oh, we don't want to scare hey, the squirrels. Nature doesn't quite provide. Maybe I will, actually, because then maybe I can get something out of the trash can to pry it open. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. Nope, the birds came. I guess I can scare these guys too. Bye, you fools. Okay. All right, and the squirrels come back. Okay, never mind. I thought I'd be able to get something out of the trash can if I did that, but I guess not. 
fire swing. She'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it innocence lost or some shit. I don't know if this is gonna let me go all the way over here. Initials? Yuck. Cliche much? A, a W and O L. I don't know who that would be. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Well, I found some information out. I feel like picnickers. Wine. I feel like I shouldn't get in the middle of their thing, but I, oh wait, I get the knife. Hey, spare some change. Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh, she's right there. I didn't need to ask. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for no, I just wanted to. I wanted to borrow. Like, I guess asking them to borrow a knife is probably not a good idea. Yo, can I borrow your knife? I just want to pry open a thing. Okay, well that that was terrible. I learned some information though. He locked the keys in his car, but I don't know how that's really gonna help me unless I talk to Rachel. Maybe some with some information about that. So let's run this way. I don't want to head down there just Never yet. mind, let's not run this way. I don't think there was anywhere else I could have gone over there. Oak trees down there. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Alright. Let me see if I can try and pry this open. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Okay, well, I can always tell her some information that I learned, too. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. You got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Probably not strong enough. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Right. She's like, what? <laughs> sure, let's try it. If it's metal, maybe. Oh, no, it's Victoria. What's up? Wow, Victoria, you need to step off. Oh, my gosh. I guess Chloe and Victoria never really liked each other, like, at all. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Oh, I wonder if I can use this nail file to open their locked car. Oh, we got an idea. We got an idea, everyone. Okay, so let's go say, hey, you know, I can help get in your car. Give me your other knife to help me or give me a quarter or something. Hey buddies. What's worse than groveling for change? Damn, groveling never mind. For change and failing. Where where did they lock the keys in the car? There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are from whatever is around you. There's some I'm obviously missing here. Dedication? Oh, yeah, let's unscrew that with the thingy. Yeah. Well, I almost had an idea, but I guess we'll use this. And then we'll use the metal to uh, pry that open. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> well, obviously, it's not going to let me go down to the thing. Wow, people need to stop texting me. Wells is on the oh, principal Wells. That's what the GM does, dude. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know. Okay. Huh. At least we brightened somebody's day when we we're like messing up everything else. All right, so we'll pop this one open. First got power, activate.
Yeah, I was gonna say that better have worked. That's gonna cut me, isn't it? Dude, if I would have stuck my fingers in there, I would have cut open my fingers. <laughs> Not to brag. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. That sounded like Max there for a second, just the way that she phrased that. This one's out of order too. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now too? That's a little bit creepy thing to say there, Chloe. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it. I do that in my head during like every class. See? Huh? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. I get to pick somebody. It, oh, okay. Can I look over the people that I just talked to who lost their keys? Because then I have like some information. There's only like one person to look at, and that's the girl. Wait, there's a woman. Okay, there's a woman on her. There's a speed walker. Grill dad. There's like a girl waiting. Down there. Couple holding hands. Woman by herself. So we need to find two people. I guess we'll just, we could do the grill dad. Let's do, oh, hold on, look at that. I don't want to press look and like have a man by himself. All right, let's see. We'll do them, I guess. Uh, want to come listen to music? Why do we always hold hands like that? <laughs> didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? <laughs> want to see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're gonna pick another one? Yeah, we get to pick more people. All right, let's find. Uh, where was that lady with the? There we go. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Uh, nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their Oh my password. gosh. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> I wonder how many of these you do. <laughs> Maybe like two or three before the quarter runs out. All right, let's see. Let's pick one more at least. Where, where else is there? This one? There's like a grill. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Okay, I guess that doesn't count as looking at something. So let's look at the statue. You totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. <laughs> the dialogue. All right, there's a man eating by himself. Married to a nutritionist. He's all like. I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home, so... <laughs> love grease. I love grease. How can something that tastes so good be so wrong? Uh oh, dropped a fry on my suit. Now I'll have to burn. Oh my gosh. Good thing I have a giant squirrel costume in the car. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if you go... Th oh no, you must just do three. Who's next? Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are. Are they? Really uh, at it. What's going on? 
I don't know what 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 are these responses? Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? She know the people? Hey, are you all right? They're parents. What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, okay. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent. Wait, I just said no because she's just using me then. Be my guest. How gracious of you. <laughs> I have the same reaction. Like, where'd the attitude come from? Like, we're having fun all of a sudden. They have a bottle of wine. Yes, I saw that already. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No, you shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right, I'm going in. Try to keep up. Oh, what are we doing? Why are we stealing this? She um, can we help you? <sighs> Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Wait. I probably should have just, like, helped. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on... Oh, jeez. So Here you go. What are you waiting for? Go! I already called 911. They they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like, turn all the way around and really focus. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Watch her die? Look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Oh, we learned some stuff. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? <laughs> oh God. You're right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life <laughs> from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I helped our relationship. I guess I am. Hilarious. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Did she just drink all the rest of that wine? She just chug a look at that wine. I'm excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Man, Rachel Amber kind of pulls her around on a string. 
little bit. Like, she has a very dominating personality. I guess I should have expected that going into it, but, like, yeah. This feels like a very end of episode moment here. I could be wrong though, but it, it feel, really feels like it. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? This is the junkyard. Oh, are they going to go to the uh, hideout area? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left. I the think park. it's gotta be like her dad or something What's that was at deal? the park. That's probably why she wanted to get wasted. No, I'm gonna call her out on it. I've heard that actors are moody, but. Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a Yeah, tell me what's yet. wrong. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. I don't understand. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel. Oh, I'm perpetuating sad stuff. Fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... I understand what's going on, but I need to try and get Chloe to do that. I can work with that. Score. Nice. Uh, give her a bat. I feel like giving her the bat is probably the better thing here because she'll be able to get out some aggression, but I don't want her to like hit me in the face with it. <laughs> I think it's better. Rachel a show. I could give her a show and then she would be able to like follow sweet. Oh man. I think giving her the bat's probably the better idea, but I can't rewind, so oh. here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. Oh, is she actually gonna follow through? I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. I pressed the wrong right. one. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Oh, sh I screwed up. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? 
Oh, what? It's already giving me this this option at the beginning. I don't even uh, I don't even know what to do here. I felt more confident in the first game when I could rewind if I made a mistake. Here I don't have an option. Honestly, like personally, I feel like it's I should I should select B because that is I feel what's going on, but I don't know if this it's so early in the first episode that I don't know if this is going to push it. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. All right, I'm going to go with my gut here. I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? I feel like this is you gonna know, push her away. Like a friendship, but more. Ah, I know. Weird, right? It's just today was the best day I've had since since my dad died, and when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize. Whatever's going on between us. Is I honestly feel like lore, like story-wise, this is how Chloe and Rachel were. Come on, say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Oh no, I done screwed up again. But oh no. I can't. What is going on? Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Oh my god, the feels in this episode. Goodbye, Chloe. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we're gonna smash stuff up. Every option is smash. I agree. You know she's fake. You, you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah. Fuck off, Rachel. Oh my god, this is such a powerful, like, thing. Never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You take a million wow. pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Wait, hold on a second. What did mom say? Well, she's not gonna respond. Okay. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. She is just getting her. Oh no, she's gonna like cut herself. Fuck you, David. Oh, this is her truck. Yeah, that's her truck, isn't it?
Yeah, this is some angst for real. Is this actually his car? I guess it probably would be since it's at the junkyard. She's going through some tough crap right now. Well, I guess I only got one option to smash it. This is really powerful. Oh, wow. Is that how they're going to do that? They're not going to end that episode there, are they? Oh, is she having the dream again? Why are you crying, sweetheart? Uh oh. What the f what is going on? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What is going on? That's a good question, Chloe. What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Yeah, I don't like this either. <laughs> it, can I look? This will move the poster. Oh yeah, let's graffiti that. Hey, where's my marker? Where is the marker? Oh, there it is. This is getting some metaphorical some stuff. Point. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Well, we're going to take this opportunity to do the graffiti. Truth or lie? Let's do truth. Chivo unlocked. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. Sleep is for the weak. She sounds so depressed right now. I guess I did that. Sometimes people need you, though. Oh, that's scary. When they don't admit it. Whoa. Why? Why is this happening? Rachel.
That is some... That is some stuff. I just passed out in the car for like 12 hours. Like, I, I don't need whatever that was in my life. Like, what the heck? I thought this was like the end. I thought it felt like in the end of the episode. Guess that's what happens when you pass out in the car that your dad died in. Not recommended. I will say though that this episode packs a lot of like emotion into it. When you play the first Life is Strange, it took like maybe a couple episodes to get into it, but because they're only doing three episodes in this game, in before the storm i guess they have to fit more into each episode because the emotions are really strong in this first episode that was crazy though like that's some foreshadowing there in more ways than one especially if you play the first one I found her somehow. I, I, I'm willing to bet she's going to say that it was her dad that she saw in the viewfinder. Yeah, exactly. You can only do each thing once, which sucks because in the first one you could redo it. And this one you have to really your choices really matter in this one. Um, I'm going to say. I'm going to say me too here. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. That's okay. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Did I call it? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh, shit, I call that so hard. Right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The oh, worst part is, I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Oh damn. What do I I'm gonna say nothing here. What do I say? What do I say to that? Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. Wow. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for That's years. That's the one she was looking at it's earlier. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... Jeez. I need to comfort her. 
No, I guess she doesn't want it. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. Damn. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. I owe you one too. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. Dude, this is hard. <laughs> Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. Oh my gosh. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. Why was she watching me there? You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got... That's because those were best options. And called him out. Those were like all the best that options. sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. Wow. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with uh, I'm sorry? I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Money? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Damn, that was fast. They made that decision fast. Can I borrow your lighter? This is some metaphorical sh going on. That's really dangerous in the middle of a forest. Teenagers have bad decision making skills, I agree. Let's up and leave, but before we do, let's burn Come on. a like a trash can in the middle of a forest. And kick it over. You stupid idiot. I saw it coming too. Wow, that's... I can feel the rumble when she screams like that, too. I don't know, I felt rumble every time she screamed. I didn't see a shadow. It might have been Chloe's though.
Oh, hey, Frank. All right, this is the end of the first episode. Wait, what is Wells doing with... That's her dad. Why is she smiling? Why is she smiling? That's so creepy. Wow. That was a really emotional, like, first episode for this game. Like, the first episode of Life is Strange is super um, emotional as well. And if you guys haven't watched Life is Strange, I would suggest going to watch, like, my first playthrough on my YouTube channel uh, first before you go through this whole journey with me. But. This is pretty, like, a really intense... They packed a lot of stuff into this episode. Um, I'm pretty happy with most of our decisions. Um, I feel like there were a couple that are kind of like... You know, maybe I felt bad about doing it, but for the most part, I think we're playing it pretty well. I think we're playing it how Chloe and Rachel should be. Um, it's, it's interesting. There's a lot of stuff to take in here. I'm going to have to digest it all. But... A lot of cool stuff and a lot of stuff to take in. Um, we will be back, guys. We're going to go. Let me see. Let me just see my choices here. Let me uh, exit this. Let me look at these choices that we have here um, before we before we go. So here's the episode. So 64 percent of people attacked uh, and only 36 percent of people ran. Um, 63 percent were were kind to Joyce. So we're in the majority there. 86% defended Nathan. That's interesting because a lot of people thought Nathan was like a, a D-bag in the first one, but that's interesting. Um, and 75% told Rachel you were more than just friends to the 25%. I would agree with the majority on that. And I think that's kind of what the game really wants you to do uh, anyway. Uh, let's hit next. So here's the other ones. Didn't take the money. We're in the majority there. Didn't purchase a uh, pot. We didn't have any money anyway, so. Uh, read Joyce's self-help book, we did that. Didn't put the photo of William on the dresser, didn't know that was an option. Um, didn't slip in money into Joyce's purse. I didn't know that was an option. I guess if we'd have stole the money, we would have had that option later, uh, but we didn't take money, so it didn't matter. Uh, told Elliot you wouldn't go to the play with them. 75% said that they would. I'm surprised. I didn't even know who Elliot was, so I'm like, nah. Uh, didn't listen to Skip's demo. He didn't ask me. Told Skip you liked his demo. 99%. 0% didn't listen to Skip's demo, and I'm in that... Was that an option? Like, okay, I must have just missed that. I don't know how I did that, guys. But I guess we're proud of it. 78%. Uh, Finish the tabletop game. Heck yeah, why not? 54% didn't sabotage Victoria's homework. Didn't say that was an option, sadly. Uh, I told Rachel you believe in love. Uh, I did that. 57% said no. Interesting. Shared earbuds with her. Who wouldn't? That was a that was a cute moment. Uh, and 94% jumped out of the train. 6% stayed in. Interesting. Uh, can we go to the next? Let's see if it gives us a preview of the next episode. from me I want my fucking money
So that was uh, episode two, Brave New World. Now we're gonna, wow, that they just started the new episode. So next time that we play, guys, we're gonna play episode two, Brave New World. Um, we will be back, if you guys are watching this live, we are gonna be back playing this again next Monday. Uh, we'll be playing the next episode. I'm gonna do a week between these so that way I can play it, uh, get it up on YouTube so that you guys uh, can watch it on YouTube. If you guys are watching on YouTube, you're f you feel free to come join the live stream uh, either on Twitch or on Mixer. Um, I'm gonna put descriptions of both of them down below. But a um, lot of interesting stuff. If I go back, yeah, look, everything's on fire now. Uh, when we started this, it was nice and peaceful. Now everything's on fire. What an awesome first episode. I'm really excited to continue this. Um, really interested to see how this goes on. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much if you joined uh, during the live stream. And if you guys are watching this later as well, I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that like button if you guys like it. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, uh, where this is going. No spoilers, please. But uh, I'm really interested to see where this is going. I have no idea after this point. Obviously, in the next episode, we're probably going to try and steal money from Frank, it seems like, um, and then he's going to want his money back because that's the whole kind of plot line in the first Life is Strange is that uh, Chloe ended up stealing money. At some point, we're going to have to dye our hair as well, so I don't know if that's going to happen in the second one or the third episode, but um, we're going to go through it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you guys next time. Later.